is up, Geeky Saiyan Army? It's Kanan, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Not going to waste any more time. Just want to get right into this. Don't know how long I'm going to be recording. But as always, if you enjoy our content, please hit that subscribe button. We're getting very, very close to 400 subscribers. I think we're about 20-something away. Let's get there really, really soon so we can start building up to 500. If you guys want to support us on Patreon or just follow us on Twitter, links are in the description, plus our Etsy store and all that stuff. Um, also, as always, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit that like button, leave us a comment. Now let's get into the very first story mission. Let's get it. Yes, let's deploy. So, we are taking children into battle, are we? Yeah. I'm not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. Yeah, it's pretty uh it's a pretty rough thing. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. I'm going to try and not use Divine Pulse at all in this entire Let's Play. Um, don't know how well that'll go, but we'll see. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to use Divine Pulse. All right, so... Like I said, I'm not going to use the guy. This will probably mostly be driven by Byleth and Edelgard because uh, everyone else is like at level three. I've not got the chance to, to level grind any yet off, off camera because I'm in a part where uh, I can't do that yet. Save real fast, just in case things go bad. And uh, let's begin. So this is the Red Canyon, a ruin of sorts by the look of it. Let's end this quickly. Well, we're gonna try. The thieves must have been driven back. Be careful or the cornered mice might bite us. Yeah, and that's not good. The knights chased us all the way here? Yeah, you still got those veins in that head. That's not good. Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Shut Where your mouth! You, you kiss your mother with that mouth? <sighs> Professor, I hear there's a back road to the west. Why don't we split up and attack from both the west and the front? If we advance tactfully, we can attack our enemy from both sides. I leave the rest to you. That's a good plan. Regardless, we must cross the bridge first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so probably have Byleth and Elgar just make, just take out all these guys. Might have the others try and go from the west and just, us all meet up right in here. So let's see how that plays out. Stay focused. I will prevail. I'll keep them side by side. Oh no. I will get the victory. That's my cue. That way they can take on any attacks that come up the front. Yep. Allow me to demonstrate. Hist her off. Yep, there we go. You fought well. Practice yields results. That's true. Just in case. You're dead. Regrettable, but there was no other way. Edelgard, let's let's face it, you didn't feel guilty about that whatsoever. Eh, she might have. Who knows? They got speed up. Okay. Predictable, huh? Why didn't you miss both? I'm being too strict, aren't I? 
Come on, Bernadetta. Yes. You're dead. Anywhere I can hide. <laughs> she, just <laughs> she just killed someone. Can I go hide? I expect. <laughs> With this, hmm. really, you ignore everybody else and go for her. It's gonna come back to bite you, and they're gonna take out Bernadetta. Well, darn. Well, that's not good. Let the lesson begin. <laughs> Dead. That's what you get. Such power dwells within. That's a good level up right there. You're dead. Electrified. Go down so, easily. so, is making us experience a real battle part of the church's teachings? Ooh. We stole this, so it's automatically ours. This is our okay. Really weird logic there. Bravado. Got chess key, yeah. Obviously not. Think this through. Level up. Disappointing. <laughs> not a good one, huh? Get him on the first shot. We did. I won't go down so easily. Well, 
like what you see. Ooh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> going to ram you. Oh, this is going to be close. Okay, good. It doesn't miss him. Okay. One more success. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart and do not be worried about this killing. Oh, seriously, you're just gonna go right for her, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say she ain't gonna be happy about that. Really? That's good. Okay, we only got three left plus the boss. It's gonna be close. Didn't she have the yeah. Thank you. Do. 
do have the elixir. I don't know. I will prevail. See what you got. No hesitation. <laughs> Should I have held back? No. I will get the victory. Battle, a chance to grow. Level eight. Sweet. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example. Nope. <laughs> I don't know if we can get rid of this guy before we can get rid of the the boss. gives you the right to kill despicable well Thank you for leading us, Professor. Though I suppose there was no way we could lose to a familiar foe. In any case, something about this canyon feels inexplicably strange. Uh-oh. Are you feeling the energies? I won't admit, <laughs> I got a little worried there for a sec. <laughs> Cutscene. But how? I've never hmm. been here, have I? I wonder why it is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Well, you know, it, it's not very common when you have a voice inside your head that speaks that clearly. You know what I mean. You surprised me. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Yes. Still. Uh, how is this? Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. But you did forget your own name and all that. I'm unsure. 
Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Oh, a lot. Professor, I was wondering where you were. It's about time we headed back to the monastery. Yes, of course. It's time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, Can't okay. escape time. It seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. <laughs> you got, you gonna make us look bad. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. Really? Was it? On our way out, I had the chance to observe the Red Canyon. Did you notice anything, Professor? It's a big old hole in the ground. Of course, I expected as much. The area was covered in ruins, each more curious than the last. They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire, or across all of Fodland for that matter. That can only mean one thing. The Valley Civilization Aliens. has been fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Who do you think lived there? Aliens. It was alien. I'm not saying aliens, but aliens. No? Okay. <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. Aliens! Okay. Hmm. Perhaps their remnants still influence this world. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. I doubt that. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. That's, that's, uh, that's some very questionable, uh, orders there. Unnecessary worry, huh? Relieve them. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do what I can. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanadu? It always reminds me of that movie Xanadu. Xanadu. Okay. Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. Aliens. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanadu could only have been a temporary haven. Aliens. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, so she's times, spying on the us. The goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Okay, calm down. You're getting kind of culty on me. My father never told me. He didn't tell me anything. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. They we stole something big, didn't they? Next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. It's you. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. <laughs> I know, but I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? A ghost? I don't know. Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? 
Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. That would kind of make you a ghost. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> go, go to sleep. You're thinking too much. Go to sleep. Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. It's mutiny, I say. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Ah, the rainy season. Before the heavy rains take their When you're stuck inside and all it does is rain. The last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Well, great. Professor, I have a new mission. Uh-oh, monthly students. mission. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato Who? is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite That's some ego you got there. Some confidence. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights Rear Guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Oh, we're going to be fighting. You Catherine! This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is okay. one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Um... That's kind of passive aggressive there. That's almost like a threat. All right. I don't need on online statistics. So we're going to go to about the 29th, right before this battle. And that's where I'll stop. So let's explore. do hello ghost quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste Ush. we must try harder from now on yes ma'am okay let's begin talking to just the characters that matter <laughs> I'm gonna make so many people mad with that. <laughs> huh? Um, is someone there? What do you want? You're like, no? Nobody's there. I was just listening to you hum. That's creepy. That's really creepy. Okay. of Fodlin are different ones than in Bridget, and people here are unknowing of the spirits who watch over the earth and bless it. Only the goddesses know. Is that factual? I don't know. Did I? Yes, I did.
Grow, my pretties, grow. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive. So if that, does that mean if you leave the monastery, you would wilt? Inspiring, are they not? I guess. Are we still talking about flowers? Uh-oh, we got some support conversations. Hey, AD. Uh-oh, you're scowling again. You're going to get wrinkles all over that cute face of yours if you don't smile more. <laughs> Hello, Dorothea. I was just lost in thought. There are so many things to be done. To think of them makes my head ache sometimes. So many nobles of the Empire are utterly useless. When I am Emperor, I intend to appoint only those who can actually be useful. It doesn't matter if they're of noble or common birth. Noble or common, eh? Can you really do that? Dorothea's heart just fluttered. I mean, not that I don't agree. I'd make all those nobles vanish if I could. It's not a question of can or cannot. All that matters is doing it and doing it right. The nobility system has only been around for 1,200 years. Only 1,200. didn't exist before that. Only 1,200 years, huh? You always say such preposterous and extraordinary things, A.D. Yet somehow you actually make it work for you. It's like you're a character from an opera. A character from an opera? Hmm. If an opera is made about my life someday, I wonder how I'll be portrayed. The revolutionary who guided the Empire to a new dawn, or the foolish ruler who took her revolution too far. Boy, that's some foreshadowing there. Well, that all sounds pretty violent. But either way, it would make an incredible opera. Do you figure it'd be a grand action piece full of combat and strife? Or would you prefer a somber political drama? Hail the mighty Edelgard, the red blood stains her story. Heavy as her crown may be, she will lead a soul to glory. To a brighter dawn we shall carry on. Hail Edelgard. You know, it's funny, if she came up with that right off the fly, that's pretty amazing. That's Quite enough, Dorothea. I'm starting to feel more than a little embarrassed. Lovely as your voice is, let's just hope that any operatic productions about me are still a ways off. <laughs> okay, that's it for right now. Hi there. Hello. Whoops. Be over here. Who's in? Yeah. I see an item. What's over here? T. Okay. Why not? I love this meal. How did you know? I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. That still makes no sense. Woohoo! And who did we... Dorothea? I'll have, to get, I'll have to find her. I just went in a complete circle, did I not? Okay. Sick. Hyper speed. Might as well talk to him. Everybody loves him. What? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. You do realize what you just said, right? Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Professor. 
Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. Okay. I would have expected you to be more careful, seeing as how you're a professor and all. Don't typecast I me. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Just to keep your clothes from getting Yo, dirty. Hey, professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. <laughs> you understand. Hey, Professor. Fancy meeting you here. I've got a business. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've got something I want to chat with you about. I know you're busy with a lot of things, but I was wondering if I might be able to join you. Heck, I won't even charge you for my aid. What say you? It's a killer deal. Well, thank you. Now I'll have plenty of time to get to know my clients better. Just using me for money. The workings of everyone they come in contact with. Helps with the making of the money, you know. Using me for money. Okay. What? Shameful. The stable. Yep. Look at all the horsies. Oh, hello, Professor. Um, was there something you needed? Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. At least she got her to smile. Run like the wind. I do not like birds. Get away. I told you all the story why I don't like birds. I think I could have sworn I told that story when I was playing Stardew Valley. I might retell that story one day for newer subscribers. Get around here. Professor. Professor, about this month's assignment. Raising an army against the church? Really? Though it looks like we won't be fighting, it's still quite unsettling. My oh, we'll be fighting. That it will all be subdued rather quickly. I felt a bit lost here at the monastery at a loss for what to do thankfully a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help I believe she said it's little sister I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. they say he's a very kind and gentle Lord why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army oh professor you were working late last night weren't you you shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. Of course a place like this would be haunted. I got lost there for a sec. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ah. Thank you. I know who that belongs to. Wow. I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? Sure. 
I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here. I can tell you that. Wow. Someone uh, has a chip on her shoulder. Impressive. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Huh. Maybe <laughs> the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. She almost downplays everything you say. <laughs> Even within the Knights of Saros, Catherine is the strongest. By a large margin from what I've gathered. Why not seek her out as a sparring partner, Professor? Are you saying I need to train? I have a favor to ask. <clears throat> All right. Well, I had fun today. Of course. You want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, well, well, well. Hello, Professor. Were you watching that? Yep. <laughs> yes. Is there a problem with that? Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. You might think about doing the same thing. Your beauty, and you're gorgeous, won't last forever. She's got to throw in that little flirt. You? Really? I never would have guessed. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. Finding someone to take care of me? <laughs> of course it is. Who could ask for anything more? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless <laughs> you'd like to take care of me into my old age. That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? This school is really, really just, uh, I guess, okay with the students flirting with the teachers. <laughs> okay, uh, why not? I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? The thought hadn't crossed my mind before, but come to think of it, that might sound pretty nice. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later, Professor. Well, well, well. All right. Go here. Really? Hey. <laughs> pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. She sounds really, really scary. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Yes. It's like, oh my gosh, she's going, she's going crazy. Hey. Well, hello, hello, hello. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Yes. Oh, this. Woohoo. 
I still have much to learn. I simply must thank you, Professor. If only she was romanceable by female Violet, I would so go for it. Uh, all right, where is everybody? Who just said maybe in my ear really sweetly? That was... <laughs> eh, I don't want to talk to you. Gonna make me go all the way out here. Yeah. <sighs> there she is. Listen, the monastery grounds are far too spread out. Feels like it takes hours to get from one area to another. Yes. And no, that's not because I'm getting lost. I'm a fully capable, mature person who never gets lost. It must have a lot about me. I've played this game I don't know how many times and I still got lost. <laughs> okay, I think I've talked to everybody I want to talk to. No, Ingrid. Where is Ingrid? This might be her that's waiting out here. Yep. We are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds are. Every day, there's something new to harvest. Okay. Very good conversation there. All right. And I almost forgot I got to do this quest. What? I desired fresh air. Okay. That's not like you. I have a favor to ask. His voice is always, it's so extra, it seems like. What do you require? Do you want to hire this? Great to meet you. Thank you. In the Battalion Guild, you can find various battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seraphs. We're yep. allowed to hire them if we so please, so you should familiarize yourself with the Her voice just comes out of nowhere. you have the chance. Naturally, battalions lose endurance as they fight. If you visit the Battalion Guild in the market, you'll be able to replenish their endurance. Okay. That's going to be it for this day. Come on, let's, get, let's do better. Yeah, that's better, right? Nothing let's do better than good. I'm getting closer. Praise isn't necessary, really. Uh-huh. You like it. No. Nothing worth celebrating. Thanks for the help. <laughs> she sounds so happy. I appreciate your coaching, Professor. Uh huh. I bet you do. I got it. You're quite the motivator, Professor. I bet so. Very, very weird uh, pairing there. May but I ask a question, Professor? I'm sorry, but you should probably just skip me. I don't have a question to ask. How, how would I even think of one? You just... You just did. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Thanks. It's like... 
You just did. Professor. Yes. Yeah, I give her some flowers. Whose birthday is this? Nah. Let's just get this done. I am ready. I'll make the report. Okay. The battlefield has much to teach. I'm getting it. I get it. Okay. Okay, guys, I know I said I was going to get to the 29th in this one, but I'm nearing an hour and it's getting kind of late. So I am going to end this one here. Um, what I'm going to do is this is perfect. I can do some battling off camera to raise levels up and I might... When we get when the next episode, I might go ahead and be on the 29th just so I can get a few things done that won't take up an entire video. That way we can get a little bit more story focused stuff done. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it for what it's worth. <laughs> like I said, I didn't get much done this episode. But if you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave me a comment. Like I said, we're almost to 400 subscribers. Let's get there very, very soon. There's a lot of stuff going on this uh, this week. I believe the day that this is coming out, there's a Nintendo Direct. My reaction to that should be up at some point. <laughs> and um, hopefully we get some good stuff. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember, me and Jess love you all very, very much. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm. And if you're in the Texas area and all that, our thoughts are with you. You know, just hold on. Uh, everything, you know, it, it may be it may be going really, really bad right now, but things always get better. Uh, Jess's dad's in Texas, so our thoughts were are uh, with all of you. But uh, yeah, guys, play some games, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.